What's happening, Stellar Mommies? Dr. Della Parker here talking about adrenal fatigue. Um, today we're just going to talk about the symptoms of adrenal fatigue because by now you've heard me say adrenals a million times and maybe you're coming around to what that means, but I'm going to break it down what adrenal fatigue looks like, what symptoms we're talking about. So um, you're going to be looking around being like, she's got adrenal fatigue, she's got adrenal fatigue, everybody gets adrenal fatigue, Oprah style, right? That's why I'm here. I want to heal your adrenals, help you prevent disease, add years to the end of your life. Okay, here we go. So we're talking about overworked, overstressed, mommy style. Can anybody relate, right? So like we talked about before, your adrenal glands are meant to handle an acute stressor, a stress that happens and then it goes away and your body can recover from that stressful event. When is the last time you sat on the couch and you're like, ha, ah, I'm just gonna relax. I'm not stressing out about anything. I'm not worried about my to-do list or that I need to do the dishes right now or, you know, oh shoot, I've got that field trip I need to go on tomorrow and I need to do this, that, and the other. Oh, PTA needs me to do this or whatever it is, right? We're always like, da -da 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 -da. we've got so many things going on our to-do list that even when we're relaxing, we're thinking about what we should be doing instead of actually relaxing, right? And so stress is just off the charts and it's not even, um, how we're, you know, working moms and we are managing a family and, you know, working so many hours. It's the environment that we live in is stressful, right? There are so many chemicals that we're breathing or, you know, things that we're exposed to. Who knows what the hell, like, we've got a cell phone to our ear all day long or on our body. Like, those waves and things, those are got to be stressful for our bodies. We don't even know the impact of that. But this world that we're living in, it's stressful. And so our adrenal glands, they are not no longer dealing with acute stressors and then able to recover. They are under chronic stress. And so um, what does that look like? So here are just like, anytime we talk about um, adrenals, we've talked about cortisol in our last video. So primary function, adrenals manage inflammation, right? So anytime inflammation gets out of control, we know adrenals are an issue and they should be supported, okay? So what does inflammation look at look like? People are thinking like, wait, you sprain your ankle and your joint swelled up? Well, that is acute inflammation, that's a normal process, but we're talking about like chronic inflammation, like eczema, right here, girlfriend, I'll tell you my story here in a second. Um, eczema, Asthma is inflammation of the lungs. Allergies, people who are suffering from allergies have so much inflammation in their bodies that one little pollen molecule comes down the pipes and their whole body explodes on it, right? And they're like, like a hot mess. So allergies are totally an inflammatory condition that can be managed by supporting your adrenal glands. Um, arthritis, and you've got joint pain, that's inflammation. Crohn's disease, uh, basically, Anything that ends with itis, tendonitis, um, I can't even think of any itises right now because I'm put myself on the spot, but um, anything that ends with itis, that means inflammation. So any inflammatory condition, we want to help your support adrenal glands to be better at managing inflammation in your body. And a lot of times we don't think of things like eczema, allergies, and asthma as inflammatory conditions, but 100% they are. Um, and they can all be improved by um, adrenal support. Um, other symptoms, ligament laxity. When you've got, um, somebody goes, says that they go to the chiropractor and their adjustments never hold, like their rib just keeps popping in and out, or maybe they're walking down the street and their ankle rolls all the time, like they're always rolling the same ankle. Well, why are your ligaments not really taut and holding that joint in place? And if you get a chiropractic adjustment, your ligaments should be taut and hold that um, back in place, right? If it just flip flops back out, we call that ligament laxity. And that happens when your adrenals are just tanked um, because adrenals are responsible for holding tone in your body. Um, so not just ligamental tone, but another thing I think about is acid reflux. People that complain of reflux, it's 99% of the time not an acid issue because in fact, guess what? Our stomachs, they're, it's meant to have acid in them, right? Stomachs are meant to contain acid. Um, and so you're not going to have too much acid in your stomach if that sphincter is working properly and it's really taut and keeping the acid in the stomach where it belongs. 
But if that sphincter is kind of failing and getting floppy, then that acid is able to come back up and uh, create reflux. So um, acid reflux, I always look at adrenal fatigue um, as an issue. Um, people who are just like midday crashers, right? Two, three o'clock and they are just wiped out and can't get through their day. A lot of times they don't have Maybe they didn't have that peak of cortisol in the morning that was high enough to get them through an entire day. Um, or there's other reasons that like your cortisol that should give you energy um, throughout the day that should peak first thing in the morning is just crashing um, and you are feeling exhausted in the middle of the day. Um, people that feel tired first thing when they wake up or can't get out of bed in the morning, a lot of times that's more of a thyroid issue, um, but that middle of the day crashes, totally adrenal. Also, if you're just finding yourself really tired after eating, it could be that you're eating like crap, so we should talk about that too. <laughs> but um, also your body, your adrenals help to regulate blood sugar. So uh, if that process isn't happening properly, we can find you kind of comatose after meals too, and that can be a blood sugar adrenal issue. Um, speaking of um, blood sugar, so if you are somebody who gets hangry, like you aren't eating, you know, you skip a meal or go a few hours without eating and you're just getting hangry, adrenals, right? Because your adrenals should be secreting cortisol to tell your liver to turn uh, glucagon into glucose um, to stabilize your blood sugar. And if that signal's not getting sent properly, then your blood sugar's just crashing and you're feeling awful. So adrenals are really important in management of blood sugar also. What else we got here? Um, dizziness upon standing. So another hormone that is secreted by your adrenal glands is responsible for um, when you go from seated to standing, um, there should be a signal sent that clamps off your blood vessels to keep your blood in your head so that when you stand up, blood doesn't just rush out of your head because of gravity and you get dizzy and pass out, right? So if that signal isn't being sent because your adrenals are tired, then most certainly you do stand up and you go like, whoa, I'm dizzy because the blood just rushed right out of your head and it didn't, um, your vessels didn't clamp up to keep it in your head long enough for your body uh, to, you know, find its balance there. So dizziness upon standing, adrenals. Sweaty palms, people that have those like clammy sweaty palms, that is, um, you know, water dysregulation, aldosterone stuff. Um, and that's totally an adrenal symptom too. Um, it's more of like a really chronic adrenal situation and we see that with, I think, usually kiddos that were born with deficient adrenals, maybe their moms were super stressed out when they were growing them. Um, and we'll totally talk about that in another video. Um, anxiety, if you're just keyed up all the time, like you find yourself driving like this and you're like, oh God, I'm not stressed out. Like, calm down, let's put on the brake pedal chill out and relax a little bit, right? Like we are not, don't have to be so anxious all the time. Um, it's like our epinephrine, our adrenaline is the switch is stuck on and we need to like go back and forth in and out of that. And if our switch is just stuck on because of chronic stress, our adrenal glands are suffering. They're just freaking burning rubber and we need to get them to chill out and like heal and repair themselves when there's not a real stressful event happening in that moment. Um, Poor sleep, we talked about that a little bit in our last video, but if you are someone who either cannot fall asleep because you can't shut your brain off, you might have high cortisol at night, or if you're somebody who can fall asleep just fine, but then you're not able to stay asleep, that might be um, a different type of adrenal issue where blood sugar management isn't happening while you're sleeping. Um, so that's super important. So you're somebody who is always getting sick. Does anybody know anybody who's like, you go from one cold to the next cold, to the flu, to stomach bug, like these people are just always sick or kids that are always sick, they're poor adrenal glands. We've got to support those so that they're healthy. If you've got, you know, cortisol, remember it decreases healing, it kind of shuts down your immune system. So then if you've got just a normal virus coming through that your body would normally be able to conquer, your immune system is struggling and it just cannot and it takes you over. So um, we really want to help to support and increase the vitality of the adrenal glands to support the immune system. Super important. So I just want to give you, I'm sure I missed a few other things on my list here. What else? Hormone imbalances. Remember your adrenal glands make the backbone to your hormones. And so, so many women are deficient in progesterone or whatever hormone. Um, and a, 
a lot of times that goes back to your body, your adrenals just aren't making the DHEA or the backbone to the hormones. Um, so that, you know, super important there too. Okay, so I wanna give you a little example. Um, anybody who knows me from back in the day, I was in, I'm gonna tell you a little story. So my last year in medical school, fourth year in medical school, I thought it was a good idea to get pregnant. So I was already super stressed out, right, being in school and started, what the heck, let's grow a human, right? So um, got pregnant, so now I'm growing a human and in my fourth year of medical school, like super stressed out. My body was just like, okay, the stress is like, I was totally like, ah. And cortisol, I'm sure, was just like at an all time high, right? So it's great for those things we talked about, like, you know, converting memory. So I had passed my test, I'm here, so that's all good. But I got super, super sick. So I got an eczema really bad. Like my body couldn't handle inflammation anymore because I think my cells were just not responding to the cortisol that was just there all the time. And so my eczema got horrible. Like literally people thought I had a sunburn on my face. It was just because my whole face was bright red with eczema. I had it all over my entire body. Like it was bad. Um, and I felt awful. I couldn't sleep. So when I say I couldn't sleep, um, it wasn't like, oh, I had a rough night of sleep. It was that I slept maybe one to two hours for about three months straight. Like legit, my husband thought that he married a crazy person. He was like, what is wrong with you? Like, how can you function without sleep? Like, I think you need to go to the loony bin. Like, it was crazy. My skin was a hot mess. I didn't want anybody to touch me because it hurt all over. I just had weepy eczema all over my body. It ended up getting infected with a head to toe staph infection. So I had this huge infection overtaking my whole body. Couldn't sleep. I was so tired, so stressed out because I was in my last year of school and I was growing a human, right? So in this situation, like I was, you know, prednisone, we talked about that drug. It's basically like taking exogenous cortisone to um, help with the inflammatory process that was like going crazy in my body. And I literally, the good naturopath that I was, <laughs> I was like, I was counting down the days to the third trimester so that the risk of my son getting a cleft palate from me taking this medication was decreased, not even gone, but just decreased enough where I felt like I could take it. I think I took it a day early because I was like, fuck it, I'm doing this. So <laughs> I took the drugs and it totally helped to squash the inflammation. But adrenal issues have been a struggle my whole life and I think they always will be because I tend to carry a lot of stress. I'm learning more and more about ways to help my body manage stressors so that um, hopefully my adrenals are getting nourished and built up and they can handle these inflammatory crises um, when they come and it's not staying there constantly. Um, but just think about it. If I didn't know anything about adrenals and I didn't know how to like support myself coming off of the prednisone or, you know, how to manage my diet and like just make changes in my life uh, to support this, I really think that I would be in a horrible place right now. And in fact, I know that when my diet goes off the rails or exercise falls off, my body starts to get a little inflamed because I'm no longer supporting my adrenals the way that I know they need to be to be functioning properly for my body. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different for everyone. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you uh, because it, the struggle is totally real. <laughs> and the we're, I'm gonna do a whole video on this, but the other part to remember is like, you know, if my adrenals are totally tanked, like I've got to be drawing from some source. And so I was likely drawing from my sons. And so now he's a kiddo who's got allergies and asthma. And I think I set him up for those conditions because I stole some of his adrenal function when I was like completely maxed out. Um, but it's so important for busy moms to think about their adrenals. Like we just go, 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 go. And it's like, got to take care of the kids, not worrying about myself. But it's not always so obvious as head to toe eczema, right? Sometimes it's an inflammatory condition on the inside. And you know, these long-term inflammatory conditions can lead to cancers and things like that. We're literally talking about, you know, taking years off the end of your life. And just because 
everybody, a lot of people tell me like, you're so lucky when you eat bad or, you know, you don't exercise or whatever, you get a skin rash. Like it, your body tells you like blatantly, listen up girlfriend, like get your shit together. Well, yeah, that's great until I have to go to work with a giant rash on my face, right? But it does keep me in check. But it, you got to think about like, if this is happening internally somewhere in your body where it's not so visible, uh, then you might not be aware of the damage that you're doing to your body until it's too late. So think about your adrenals, think about all these symptoms, head over to stellarhw.com and take our um, How Jack Your Adrenals quiz. That's gonna kind of tell you where you are. Are you in the alarm phase, which is the very beginning, like, okay, your adrenals are not happy. Are you in the resistance phase um, where, you know, your body's becoming resistant to cortisol because you've been stressed out for so long? Or are you in the exhaustion phase where your adrenals are tanked and they're no longer even making cortisol? And that is not a good place to be because you are frazzled. So um, you can identify what stage you're in and then you can come on into Stellar HW um, and we can hook you up with some nutrition response testing and get you some supplements to help heal up those adrenals, help you with some lifestyle um, management things to help heal those up, to just give you more energy, um, decrease some of these symptoms and help you feel your best and be the best mommy that you can. So that's what I got for you today. Um, join us next time. What do we got here? But I'm ching. What is this? Um, I don't know, I don't have my calendar. I can't remember what's next, but we're talking about adrenals all day, every day. So um, join us next time. See you then. Thanks.